It's a great plan. Okay. I did do a lot of, we did a lot of videos. We did a lot of videos. I'm only going to show two, and then I'm going to show an upcoming um, thing that we're doing. Okay. You ready? Yes. Hey, Lady Ada, what is this? All right, I'm finally starting my project. I've been putting off for a couple of weeks, which is porting um, our Seesaw core, which you can see here in the rotary encoder. This is SAMD09 that takes I squared C in and then can read a rotary encoder. So it's like our little I squared C to anything converter. We use it for a lot of stuff. You can drive NeoPixels, analog digital converters, etc. We use the SAMD09, which has been working great. I love the SAMD09, but I can't get it anymore. So I'm thinking of porting the code over to the 8Ttiny 8XY series, which is a low cost, three or five volt microcontroller. It's not as powerful, but I can seem to get it. So I'm using uh, this core from uh, Spence Conde, and uh, this is the this is the pinout that they have for the Arduino core that runs on the ATtiny X17. So that's what I'm trying to port with. So far, I've got some blinking going. All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Okay, I'm still working on my um, ATtiny 817 port of the Seesaw code, which was SAMD09, but I can't get SAMD09s. So I'm porting the I squared C to GPIO or analog um, code that we written a couple years ago for the SAMD09 to this chip. I did digital I.O. in the last video, and this one I'm working for an analog input. So if you see on the computer, uh, I've got it reading the analog voltage, and this is all going through I squared C. So over here, you can actually see the debug from the ATtiny817. It's getting the request, sending the data, and then um, this Arduino compatible is actually reading the analog um, through the I squared C and outputting it to the serial monitor. But so far, so good. So digital and analog working so far. And here's a preview of the uh, RP, the QD RP2040 Trinky friend. Um, it's, it's like an alligator and the teeth are kind of like USB and then the tail is a stemma. So that's a little bit of a preview and that's top secret for the week. Get back in the vault. All right.